Center for Inquiry en el uso de la palabra. Around the world, we have witnessed the disturbing rise in state and non-state actors promoting and enforcing discriminatory, xenophobic, and intolerant views, which often form the basis of exclusionary nationalist movements. We've been heartened by the number of states this session that have stressed the importance of countering these developments. However, we are deeply concerned that so many states have done so while neglecting to mention their own records of promoting intolerance, tolerating intolerance, and suppressing and stamping out any form of dissent. In terms of fact, Crackdowns on freedom of conscience, including freedom of religion, belief, opinion, and expression, simply don't work. The strong arm of the government can never change a person's mind. They also violate Durban, which urged states to address, quote, stereotyping based on racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia, and related intolerance, while taking all necessary measures to guarantee the right to freedom of opinion and expression. And they serve against the interests of any state truly seeking to counter intolerance. The best way to counter intolerant views is not to restrict freedom of opinion and expression, but to protect the right of others to think and speak in opposition. As Durbin further stated, quote, we recognize the positive contribution that the exercise of the right to freedom of expression, particularly by the media, new technologies, including the internet, and full respect for the freedom to seek, receive, and impart information can make to the fight against racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia, and related intolerance. We therefore urge states to realize the central importance of protecting freedom of conscience and inquiry in their efforts to counter what they deem to be intolerant. Thank you.